You are tuning into the Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Spiritual Insight Show with Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Spiritual Insight Show. I'm Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman, and I am very excited to be back in the sacred circle with each and every one of you this evening. It is Sunday, July 7th, 7 7. <laughs> Seven, seven, ooh, double sevens. So very, very powerful, very powerful number. Uh, so welcome everyone and thank you whether you're joining the show live um, it, or, you know, watching this video or you are listening on Spreaker Radio. Thank you each and every one of you uh, for tuning in live this evening. And, and if you are watching or listening in the archives, you know, I totally appreciate you sitting in sacred circle with each and every one of us. Um, the space has been reserved for you. Spirit knows that you're going to, you know, be listening or watching probably even before you do. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. Uh, oh, yes. Hello, Chris. Welcome. Yay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hello, Wendy. Yay. Uh, and Sarah from all three of us. Yes. Well, actually from all of us now, which would be you, Anthony, my godson, Austin, and a puppy. You have a new puppy now. Aw. <laughs> puppy love. <laughs> Hello, Maureen. Welcome, dear. How are you? Beautiful. So, <laughs> hope you're you're enjoying. This is your morning time, right? So, having your cup of coffee, tuning in. <laughs> so, aw, welcome everyone, and uh, yeah. So, it's um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, high energy type of time. I know we've talked about this before. It's uh, we're in the pre-shadow, actually the pre-shadow ends and goes tomorrow into the critical point for Mercury retrograde. So it's, you know, let's not blame poor Mercury for everything that doesn't work out communication wise. <laughs> I mean, don't we do that? We find like we kind of blame it for everything, right? Uh, oh, hello, beautiful. Hello, Laura. This is Laura Romero, and she has her own show on the Goldilocks Productions Network. Uh, you can catch her uh, on Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, all right, on the Goldilocks Productions um, station on Blog Talk Radio. And, of course, you can find, if you missed that live, you can find the archive show everywhere in Goldilocks Productions. We really promote the show's live and archive. So thank you, Laura. I know how busy you are. So thank you for sitting in Sacred Circle with us. And hello, Robin. How are you, beautiful? Thank you, everyone. Yay. So as I was saying, is like, let's not blame poor Mercury for everything. You know, and it's, um, I think all of us understand now, really, um, the, the, meaning or why mercury retrograde is necessary so oh hello anthony walking crow how are you sweetie thank you so much for tuning in another busy one all of you i know are powerful healers and very busy and so i am totally honored that you're sitting in sacred circle with me and with each and every one of us this evening so thank you so much all right so my last show, I had a wonderful special guest. Did you like that treat? It was Carol Ann Carey. Wonderful, wonderful uh, medium, psychic medium, uh, mediumship and spirit communication is, is her, is her forte. And it's she's, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the show last week. And if not, then you know, you can, can catch it on a replay. And I would like to also... Um, just let those maybe who don't know, uh, we do have a YouTube channel. It, you can just go to uh, YouTube and then type in Goldilocks Productions, Goldilocks with a Y. Okay. So go ahead and, you know, 
subscribe to the YouTube channel, maybe click notifications. Okay. And, and so that you'll be notified every time we upload a show. Um, so yeah, do that. And also I just have to do a little shout out here in a few moments. Let me check these comments here. Oh, you're sweet, Anthony. And yes, I need this. You know, Robin, we all need this, right? We all need this coming together. And it's, and it's, um, healers helping healers, healers helping healers, teachers, teaching teachers. It, it's, you know, we're all giving and receiving and learning. All right, so we have um, a couple of new advertisers on uh, with Goldilocks Productions. And how you advertise, you can go to patreon.com and again, look for Goldilocks Productions. And you can just, you can follow. If you follow us on Patreon, it's for free. Um, if you uh, become a, a, a patron, of Goldilocks Productions, and there's different tiers, and what I mean by that, like different subscriptions. You could um, just look and see. I think there's like three or four different kinds of tiers. Uh, you can support us for three dollars a month. Uh, the advertisers package is twenty five dollars a month. It's a great deal. Read everything that you get with it, and so it's it's just check it out, and it the money goes right back into the production. Uh, and they keep the shows on, on air. So just check it out. If anything, just follow and then maybe share that with um, your friends and families. That would really help out as well. So I just have to do that and welcome our new advertiser, Reverend Rachel um, Simmons. I said that wrong. Simons, isn't it, Wendy? It's Wendy's daughter. She is a, a Rachel, which is a very powerful um, psychic medium and healer herself. All right, and I will actually put her uh, website up here, and I'm going to put it in the comments. Um, Rachel's, uh, Reverend Rachel's website, so you can go and and check out her services as well. It's a beautiful website. Um, so let me see here. And she's a beautiful soul. Beautiful. You can just tell. I always say the windows are the eyes to the soul, aren't they? And you can tell when you look at um, into somebody's eyes. So look into her beautiful eyes. And uh, so, yeah, thank you. You know, I always, I put your names. I don't mean to do it on purpose. Thank you, Wendy. I knew it as soon as I said it. I was like, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks for the correction, Wendy. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> so anyway, check her out. And um, I guess again, in touch with her. Maybe I will have her on here as a special guest too. It's a nice treat. And hello, Julia. How are you, dear? Thank you for joining our sacred circle. And so, yeah. And in you, one of the benefits too, you, you um, become a patron and an advertiser as well, if you have a small business. Um, so it's a really great, great thing to do. Check it out. So, oh, hello. How are you, Joanne Leo? You're gorgeous too, right back at you. You know, so yes, Wendy, you're right. Indigo eyes, Rachel has you. Rachel has the most, well, you can just go to her website and look at her in her eyes. You get lost, not really lost. It's like, you're entering a portal and it just, whoo, very powerful. It's like, whoo, wow. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to stare. You know? <laughs> anyway, she does. She has very beautiful eyes and she's a very beautiful soul, just like her mother, Wendy. So anyway, <laughs> okay. So now we've got that. And let me just, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with my website, you can go to my website, which is white sagewoman.com s-a-g-e white sagewoman.com you can contact me through my website or if we are friends or you're watching this you can do that on facebook as well okay, message me through facebook all right so <laughs> oh you're welcome thank you so two weeks ago maybe it's been more the 23rd of june because this time is just slipping um my show before last week, right, right, was on EMFs. And if you didn't catch that show, 
you can find that on on uh, the YouTube channel as well. It's the 23rd of June, that show. That's how you can kind of find the shows is the 23rd. I can't put a really long title. YouTube doesn't like when you put a really long description right in the in the title line. Now you can in the description. So we just have them sorted out by dates. So if you go to that one, the 23rd of June, 2019, if you want to see more about or see that show about EMFs and the upcoming 5G, I did read today just very quickly. I didn't read all the details, but the, the UK Parliament are actually talking about this today. They, they went behind closed doors and they were talking about the 5G, the up, you know, upcoming 5G. So this, this is something that is really big that the whole world watch. All these other countries are already saying they don't want it. And are, you know, the United States, come on, we need to get on board. How many people need to get hurt? You know, um, so anyway, I'm not going to go into and re rehash that whole show. You can watch all of that. There's a lot of information now. Um, believe it or not, on the Internet, there really is. You, you can just do a search on it. And but it is it is something that we need to stay aware of and on top of and, and just be informative, informed about it. OK, and it's not to promote fear. I want to be very, very certain about this. It's not to promote fear. All right. It's just to help you be aware of what's going on as we're ascending. It's OK for us to keep protecting ourselves um, in the, the normal 3D way that we have learned, right? It's okay to protect ourselves as we are ascending. We still need to be aware of what's going on and still protect ourselves. All of us that are sitting in the sacred circle, we don't have to worry about being pulled back down. We're already on the ascension process. Once you um, start, well, we're not going to take ourselves out, right? So I've heard that 5G can be harmful. Yes. Yes, uh, I did see, I thought, I didn't share it publicly. Maybe, um, Joanne, I'll, I'll find that video and share it with you. Because I I think that this video that I'm going to talk about here, just real quick, will um, scare the general public. So I just sent it to a couple people who I thought would be interested in it. We had, had been having discussions about it, so I sent it to them. But it's actually about a installer um, a fiber optic or even the, um, the someone who helped install the phone towers and works with that type of, of frequencies. And he talked about it very blunt, very direct. And if you're not prepared to hear that truth laying out like that, that's why I was like, I don't want to, to offend anyone. Um, but those that can handle the truth will, will, understand it and take it seriously. So I can share that with you later if you would like, Joanne. Um, let's see. Oh, Robin. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. They, thank you for saving them. Yes. Yes. So the last two, then Robin, the 23rd of June is talking about AMFs. Last week was when I had Carol Ann carry on. So it's, it's a treat, you know, so, uh, and every once, I think like once a month, I should probably have a special guest on again, and we could give messages, dual messages like that. I, I love that. Uh, and I feel like that's, that's uh, just helps add to our healing circle. It really does. And speaking of the healing circle, um, I, I do believe we need to send out together. Let's just get comfortable and we will send love and light and healing to each and every one of us in the sacred circle and out into the world to all of those okay so uh to everyone that needs it they will receive it please know that that healing is never wasted even if you're sending it directly to somebody or in a direction if that person's not open to receive it, it's not wasted. It just goes to somebody else who is open to receive. And you don't even have to know them because we're, you know, not consciously. I know subconsciously we do. We're all connected. So you do know them. 
but let's just get, if you want to take a moment, grab a crystal. Hopefully you have crystals all around you. Grab a crystal. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect again with the divine cosmic heart. And then we're going to send healing out everywhere that needs it. Everywhere. We, um, you know, you hear on the news, we hear so much going on. You know, there, there's the little pockets, there's cities out there that, that people still struggle with, with addiction, whether it's, it's drugs or it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just people are struggling everywhere. And it doesn't have to be just drugs. It could be anything. But, but there's still the ones that are asleep that might be fighting it are those that are right on that line of surrendering to ascension. And when we send healing and love and light out like that, we're helping them. We're surround, we're, we're going to them energetically with the angels who's already circling them, just waiting for that person to make that choice of, I, I need to make better choices. I need to make better changes. I need to to, I need to get on this ascension train is <laughs> what I need to do. That's all it's going to take. And then bam, there, you know, that whole support system will come, move right in, but they have to wait for that permission. They have to wait for that invitation, so to speak. All right. And so this is how we help. And there is so much we hear about going on. And then the, the natural disasters, really all you can call them natural disasters. It's earth. All right. Releasing, taking care of her stuff. Right. And uh, so mother earth is shifting, expanding, evolving. Mother earth is already out of 3g. She's in 5g. Many of us have already left. Okay. So I uh, because I know it's hard to understand this. We're going to wrap our hand, our minds around this. We have, you know, left 3G and gone into the 4G now. But we still see what's going on in the 3G. All right? In the 3G. <laughs> in the 3D. I'm say, I mean D, dimension. My goodness, talking about all this 5G stuff. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me go back. 3D third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension. All right. So Mother Earth has already left the third dimension and is into the, uh, she's already in the, in the fifth dimension. So she shipped, shifting and changing. And that means, of course, the Earth is going to change and shift and shape. And so she's ahead of us, but she needs to be ahead of us so that it's like that magnetism to help pull and to help us. All right. And so the, the best thing you can do is to stay connected to Mother Earth, stay connected to nature. All right. And the elementals and the angels, the dragons, the unicorns, more and more will be seen. People will start to see more and more. Um, flashes in the side of your eye, you know, like in peripheral, you'll start to see some flashes or you'll actually see them and go, oh, don't. If you have to ask is that my imagination, guess what? It was not your imagination, okay? And so embrace it and know that we're going to be getting more and more powerful signs. And uh, so it's, it's, it's exciting. It can be scary, the newness of it. But uh, don't let it scare you. Turn that into like an acceleration uh, type of fuel just to keep moving forward. So, all right. Let's say, uh, hope everyone's got their crystals. Uh, if you'd like to hold on to them. Uh, if you have a Lemurian crystal, because we're going to send the healing to the earth first. All right. Um, we're going to start with the earth. And then... I will pause and we can put the Lamarian crystals down and then pick up another crystal for, for humanity. Lamarian crystals are specifically designed for healing of the earth, for Lady Gaia, for Mother Earth. All right. And when you think about this, um, the Lamarian culture, uh, ancient civilization, excuse me, 
the first layer of Earth's crust is where the Lemurian crystals are. So this is why it's important when we hold a Lemurian crystal, we're activating the, the Lemurian crystals underneath the Earth's for that first crust there. All right. So that's why it connects directly with the Earth. All right. So I personally only use Lemurian crystals for the Earth, other crystals for, for everyone else, for humanity. We're really for all living beings. Because there's so much more on this earth plane than humans. We have the animal kingdom. I mean, we just have, you know, the elementals. We have, there's so many of us that are coexisting together. All right. When you hear the coexisting, it's not just coexist. It's not just for humans of different beliefs and, um, the color of your skin, it's for every living being. Now, not just on this earth plane, but out into the cosmos. So, woo, wrap your brain around that one. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, I saw something today was really cute. It was this like, during this ascension process, to look through the third eye. And it because everything else is noise. I thought that was cute, but the noise is important too, to some degree. Hello, Tammy. Hello, beautiful. Thanks for joining. All right, so everyone grab this crystal. We're gonna get into this. Okay, so it should be comfortable. Take some deep breaths in and release. You know how to do this. Breathing in and breathing out. All right. Now what we're going to do is while we're still grounded, you can feel the bottoms of your feet tingle and roots from the bottom of your feet down into the earth, down, down, down into hollow earth. Now hollow earth is a sacred place where only those for the highest and greatest reside. It is guarded by Serapis Bay and his crystal pyramid. So hello, Cerebus Bay, saying hello as we're connecting down all our roots, joining in his crystal pyramid into that crystal pyramid down there. So we are rooted, grounded. So now we're ready to spread our wings and fly. We're gonna go up, madden yourself, either as a bird with huge wings or you're on a bird's back, whether it's an eagle, your favorite bird, or you're on your dragon, or you're on the winged unicorn. And we are just going up, up, up into the upper vibrations, into the upper, upper realms. And there is a spiral golden staircase that we are going up. The spiral's okay. And we're going up, up, up the golden spiral staircase. And when we get to the top of that staircase, we see this glowing, spinning, pink, purple, Merkaba symbol. And it's surrounded by gold and white light. This is the symbol of the cosmic heart. And we're going to connect with the cosmic heart. So just feel that connection from your sacred heart center to the divine cosmic heart. Ooh. Very powerful. You may receive a message, it's a word, a phrase. You may have a feeling, do you see colors? Is there a smell? However you're receiving the information, all of it's important. 
how are you vibrating? Are you just whew, highly vibrating? Remember this feeling. Always. We always have access to it. We're going to bring this back down the golden spiral staircase. We're going back down the golden spiral staircase. Back down to where we are right here, right now. We're still grounded. We're still rooted into the earth. Wow. Now, while we're right here and we still have that cosmic heart energy. I want you to take both arms, spread them out in all directions. Spread them out. That's what the symbolism is. When you spread your arms out and imagine yourself as a lighthouse. And just let that divine cosmic heart energy and love that we just brought down out through your heart and in all directions. First to Mother Earth, to Lady Gaia, to Mother Earth. Thanking her in gratitude for allowing us to all experience together. And those holding Lemurian crystals, you can put them down now. Pick up another crystal. This is for all other living beings. Now we're going to just send that love and light to every other sacred heart. This beautiful golden white net that is around the earth. We're just going to send it to the grid and it will go where it needs to go. If you want to direct it specifically to a person, a place, or a situation, you can do that as well. And know that you can revisit this safe place anytime, whether it's to receive or to give healing. All right, let's take some more deep breaths here. I feel us all energetically, we're holding hands too. I mean, I know we have crystals, but we have crystals in our hands and still holding hands and just energetically linked heart to heart. We're spreading that out, it's so beautiful. Some of you may feel the tingling, the bottoms of your feet, the palms of your hands. Just bring the awareness back into you, back to your sacred heart center. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Make sure you're right back fully, right here, right now, right back in your body. And if you close your eyes, open your eyes, slowly open your eyes. Take some more deep breaths. Go slow as you need to. We take a sip of water. Mm. Ah. Whew. So how does that feel? Yes, feeling very connected to everyone, with everyone. Yes, isn't that beautiful, Laura? This is a natural high right here. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> well, I mean, well, it can as we keep uh, ascending in upper vibrations, but I'm just saying. This man can't copy this. We can't create it in a bottle. And, you know, and this is something that we just have to be and experience. Whoo. And let me let, uh, yeah, you're so, I'm so calm and relaxed. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay third eye is itching. Woo. So, you know, it can be different for everyone. You can have, um, just pay attention in your body. Where do you feel it the most? Okay. So, uh, oh, my crystal is just pulsating. Yes. Yes. So beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> All right. <laughs> 
So now I want to share a new crystal with you. I love crystal balls, crystal skulls. I love crystals in different shapes and forms. All right. And uh, let's just Robin. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. There, there was a lot of us around. Yeah, there was. Yeah. That's beautiful. I normally don't buy things off the Facebook ads. But something called to me and pulled to me so greatly that I did it. Now, this does come from China, and it will take three to four weeks, but it was worth it. As I kept, okay, okay, as my angelic committee, can, should I buy this? I'm like, yes. You may have seen this on the Facebook ad. This is obsidian crystal. Look at this black obsidian. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it beautiful? I never... Oh, I love it. I love it. It's my black pearl. <laughs> the black pearl. Uh, it's obsidian, you know, which obsidian is glass, of course. Um, but it comes with this pedestal. So maybe if you see the pedestal, if you see it all together, it may ring. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this in a Facebook ad. Um, it is legit. This is the size of it. I took a gamble with it and said, hey, let's do it. It was a really good price, a good deal. It was worth the wait. The pedestal's really cute. It's a resin pedestal. But let me tell you. Oh, and to get it in the hole of it, and it's like, oh, I love this. So it's um, the first black colored crystal in a ball. And I just, I had to, to have that. Um, and like I said, I was guided and guided. And you can hear, you can hear them call to you and say, come on. So it's, uh, you know, yeah, I know. Sometimes you see these Facebook ads and you're just like, oh, buyer, beware, be careful. But the pull was so strong. And you know that everyone who loves crystals know that pull. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you absolutely know what I'm talking about. And um, I do have another one. I have to take a picture of it. Oh, uh, so, oh, yours is a rod. Oh, I love rods and wands too. Um, I have healing. I have the rods I use in, in one-on-one -on -one healing sessions and uh, they're very, very powerful as well. Uh, it, it just doesn't, doesn't matter how they're shaped. I just love them all. <laughs> and then my, my crystal skull, I have my crystal skull here. If you can see him, his name is Herman. He's like the alien skull. It's got a you know, the elongated head, the yeah, back of the skull. But I don't know if you can see the deal. And he's amethyst, of course. So, I, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, did you get it too, Joanne? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. So, when I got one, got mine. Yes. So, you know, it didn't hurt. You just have to wait for it. I think that's the only thing is we get so used to when we buy from a big company that guarantees delivery within two days we get spoiled <laughs> patient <laughs> we have to take a picture i've got um a huge i've been wanting one for a long time a huge crystal ball but I, it's like a bowling ball i'm like oh my gosh you know it's really hard to hold for any for any length of time so it does have a nice clear pedestal and so you just put that down and work with it while it's sitting down i'll try to hold it and so uh <laughs> yes chris i did <laughs> well you know this is the first crystal that actually told me a name um let's see i have a tiny little snowflake i lost a found in love oh beautiful i love when when they come back to you i really do um so this is the first crystal that actually told me it's a skull that told me, um, gave me a name. You recognize energy and recognize vibrations. And very loud and clear was my name is Herman. And whether it is just the symbol of balance of her and man, you know, um, I that is my mind trying to analyze it when I should just don't analyze it and just go with it could be after Chris Herman too. So <laughs> anyway, um, it's, you just got to go with it. And here's something interesting too. Uh, they guess they want me to talk about this is I remember when it was um, 
you, when you had to, I don't want to say it became popular, but it really did seem like all of a sudden everyone wanted to know the names of their guides. And, and uh, I, I always grew up communicating only with angels and light beings uh, because I was told not to communicate with spirit uh, um, loved ones that would come forward. And so I could still do this. I could still see them very clearly. I remember eight years old, 12 years old. It didn't matter. Um, my mother couldn't handle me talking about it because this kid, you want to share what you see. Oh, look, grandma's here. Grandma says this. Nope, I don't want to hear it. It's like, oh. and don't talk like that in public. People don't talk that way. Yeah, and so it just kind of shut me down to where, all right, well, I can't keep my mouth shut about what I'm seeing. So I remember asking the angels, please. One thing I did notice is that the angels were always, always around. More so than whatever. I didn't even know whether there were spirit guides that were there to help you. Now, you could, I could see certain um, spirit hanging around more than others. Okay, but it wasn't, um, I never thought that they were guides. I thought that they were just, especially family members, they were just checking on me. They were just there, you know? Yes. You two like that. One's denying it, though, but one's totally open to it, and one denies it, is in denial. But uh, you have a great, great, a great, oh, my gosh. You have a grandchild. I have a great grandchild yet. What I mean is like a great you have a great, amazing, awesome grandchild. <laughs> there you go. That is, um, woo, he, he is an evolved being. And you know that we've had conversations about how in tune he is. Okay. So it's, and then I remember when it's like, let's go into development and develop my spirit communication. It's just not my forte. It's not my thing. Never force it. Use what is it is strong. And by me not having that direct connection anymore, I could see them, but it's like, shh, I can't communicate with you. Shh. Um, and so it just made the communication with the angelic committee and these light beings even stronger. And so I realized that these light beings are ascended masters and just in the upper vibrations. And that's fine. I'm not saying this to make anyone feel, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm just sharing my experience. Everyone's different, okay? Everyone is different, and everyone communicates uh, differently. That's why I love having Carol and Carrie on. I mean, she knocks it out of the park with spirit communication. I think that's beautiful, and it's a, uh, I have strengthened it, I, you know, with my mother my and both my dad's. Um, my biological dad, my bonus dad, you know, my grandparents, um, great grandmother. So yeah, once you allow it to come back in, then there you go. It comes back. And, um, I always saw things good and bad. I see angels and have seen, yes, you know, I call Jesus Yeshua and Jesus Yeshua will come to anyone. I still see. Yes. Yes. I knew. You, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I have to tell you, Yeshua is so full of love. Um, he comes to anyone that wants to communicate with him. I like the bonus tip. Yeah. You know what? Because this man was amazing, stepped in and raised my brother and I, he did what my biological dad couldn't do now I and I understand everyone has a mission in heaven that's fine I didn't want to call him stepdad and he was my dad but I said he's a bonus dad because a bonus great bonus for my brother and I <laughs> and my mom of course my mom yeah she married him anyway <laughs> you can get that back Tammy you can if you want to ask your angels to bring it back in your guardian angel, we always have a guardian angel with us. And let me tell you something, the guardian angel that's with you is with you your whole existence. Your whole different lives, past lives, it's always the same guardian angel. Whereas 
the spirit guides come and go can change uh, because they have a mission too. And, and they can say, well, this person, I'm going to be the spirit guide right here. And then when I'm done with this person, I'm going to go do something else. Okay. So the angels will always be around you. Um, your guardian angel, you have to open that up, give permission to the whole angelic realm to surround you and be with you. Give permission to them now if you haven't done so already. Uh, a lot of them, the ones that aren't assigned to you, need permission. And so absolutely give permission to the an angelic realm, um, to all those beings in the upper vibrations for your highest and greatest only. I give this blanket permission to come right in and assist me. Okay. And so, yeah, absolutely, Joanne. It was in my soul chart to, to, to come in that way, you know. And uh, and that, that was fine. It's funny how, you know, we, we don't sometimes see the blessings until after it passes, until later. But I, I knew he was always a blessing, absolutely. But, you know, I don't realize how much of one until you become a parent yourself and you're like, Wow, I I admire someone, those that adopt, those that love a child that they didn't give birth to or have a part in that, you know, beyond the blood love is just, it's amazing. It really is. So I'm glad I got to experience that, my brother and I, and uh, my half brothers and sisters. I mean, I don't call them step either as half brothers and sisters. So we have a very huge family between my biological dad and his dad. So we have a lot. Anyway, so the, the point I was trying to adopt your children are chosen. Yes, absolutely. My mother was adopted and that was part of her torment um, with so much other stuff in, in the past um, of, of um, she knew she was adopted and she had to come to that of, I was chosen and I'm special. Absolutely. So it's, uh, it's beautiful when we really understand the circle of life and that it is beyond blood. And we are all connected. And it's, it's just, I think it's beautiful. <sighs> okay. So what I was talking about, too, um, they keep reminding me. I get so sidetracked or I just get with something and it's like, blah, 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 and they have to reel me back in. Okay, so the point they want to get across, okay, I'm getting there, <laughs> is that we don't have to know our spirit guide's names. We don't have to know them. And so I did one time um, try to get these names and it's like, oh, okay. But you know what, though? I think it's just that I want the fascination of hearing the name. And then you don't use them because you get used to the energy. This is how people know when they have a new guide, so to speak, that comes in and joins. I call the angelic committee. Um, my angels are at the head. And so my and that's OK. My um, spirit guide, my main guide, has a great relationship with the angels. Of course, they do. Uh, and they're okay with that because I've always relied on them. And so it's my spirit guides are secondary to the angels. Um, and so that's how we work. And that's okay. All right. And that's okay. We don't have to nab their names. Pay attention to the energy. The energy is what it is. Because really when you listen enough, you actually will hear a sound. Because everyone's soul is not a name, it's a sound. And the universal song, we're all a note. And everyone is important. Every note is needed for that song. Just remember that. Just remember that. <sighs> okay, I'm going to catch up here with some of these messages. Um, yeah. Yeah, Robin, I think we talked about some of the similarities before. It's kind of, uh, uh, are you sure we weren't, you know, separated at birth somehow? <laughs> because we have very similar um, storyline, I should say, right? Uh, we, we've talked about this before, Robin. This is kind of, and I'm from Virginia. I know you're there, right? Anyway, kind of strange. 
I love it. Oh, Chris, you heard it. You see how loud Ty, Ty is drinking water. <laughs> oh, Ty and Gracie, Chris is hello. Hey, puppies. Okay, so I do believe someone had asked for an angelic message. Yes, Laura. <gasps> An angel message for Laura. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, the very first thing is I'm going to, what I get first, and then I'll pull a card for you too. I've got cards waiting just in case this deck jumped out. So in the deck I will be using secondary to the angels is um, okay, Magical Times. By Judy uh, Berg's Mob. Used this before. It's a beautiful deck. Magical times. Judy Berg's Mob. I do. Yeah, Berg's Mob. I do love this deck. It's very, very, very beautiful. And you'll, you'll see some of these cards. All right. So, Laura. And if anyone else would like me to pull a card for you, this would be great. Let's do that. Uh, okay. So, message from the angels first. I feel like there's a project that... You know you've been assigned to do, and you've started it, but it's kind of like dragging feet, dragging feet. And there's so many distractions that come at you. And it's kind of stop, prioritize, and this, this project needs to come to the forefront and, and needs to be completed. Uh, so work on it more. I feel like you know what it is. And whether it's a writing or it's just, it has something, of course, I'm not sure if you're writing a book or if it's even developing an angel deck, cards, something like that. But it's so, it's something, it could even be a course, um, an angel course or something like that. But it, it's, you know what it is and you need to do it. Just do it. All right. Now I'm going to pull a card for you, Laura. This is card using the magical times deck all right so now let's see okay dance is your card and it's a fairy dancing with the frog find your heart's rhythm step lightly and swing with the melody close your eyes and let joy lead the way this is how you can get this project done dance Put some music on. Let it flow through you. Flow through you. You are a divine conduit. So let it just flow. And then flow out of you and onto paper, whatever you're supposed to record, whatever you're supposed to do. All right? Just let it happen. All right. Whew, so that's for you. That was powerful stuff. All right. Yay, I love it. I need to uh, have another drink. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Whew. I hope everyone's staying hydrated. It's been very hot everywhere. It has like its pockets. There's fires. There's, there's Everyone's hot. <laughs> All right. So pull a card for Wendy. All right, Wendy. All right, Wendy, 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 Wendy. It's great to get validation. Though I know that you do a lot of, um, you're aware. <laughs> Awareness. Awareness. And it's a fairy and a dragonfly. Oh, you like dragonflies. Pay attention to the, the, the sub, the, to everything that is kind of like secondary to all the subtitles. Um, look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. So look at everything. Don't just look on the surface. Look underneath too. And you have that ability to do that. Isn't that beautiful? That awareness. Just stay connected with that awareness, Wendy. And I love it. Thank you so much. For those of you who um, belong to the Goldilocks Productions group, Wendy pulls a card for us every day. And so she's aware of other people's messages, Wendy, I just want to make sure that you um, 
are, are getting your messages as well too. When you give messages that you're getting yours as well. Okay. So let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. It's several projects, writing, art, act. I just feel like it's all, there's no separation when, when, when there's messages delivered, you know that. So it's like all one thing and, and it's all related. It's all connected and music really, there you go. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Julia, I've seen how hot it's gotten in Florida. Whoo. Yeah. My goodness. And all over. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let me go back to, um, where was I? It was Wendy. Okay, so now Maureen. Maureen. I would love a card, please. Absolutely, Maureen. Beautiful, Maureen. Beautiful, beautiful souls we have sitting in Sacred Circle with us. <laughs> Maureen, this is power. Call upon the elements, the four directions, the elements. Focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. Power. Tap into your power, Maureen. Somewhere along the line, you gave your power away. Take it back. Reclaim it. Tap into your power. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Yeah. So tap into, into your power. All right, Sarah. Absolutely pull a card for Sarah. Oh, wow. Someone almost jumped out at me. <laughs> As I was pulling the card, a little girl came to me. And do you know what little girl I'm talking about? Um, anticipation is your card. It's a beautiful fairy on top of, looks like a butterfly, or no, it does look like another dragonfly. Um, something wonderful is happening. Changes in the air. Open yourself to bless as blessings are on its way. The anticipation. So, you know what that is. I know what that is. I know what they're talking about. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, stop scrolling so fast. Hold on, let me do it this way. Uh, okay, Anthony and Graffi, I'll pull a card for you. Absolutely. Anthony, there's like this, there's a big, it's interesting because the totem, animal totem came in for you too. And usually there's a lot of dragons around you, but I'm seeing this really big brown bear has showed up. And so um, whatever that means for you, sit with that. But the brown bear is just quiet. It's not giving a message. It's just there. So, um, okay. So you get the same card Sarah did. Anticipation. <laughs> okay. Wow, that that's okay. <laughs> Woo, we know how they work. That's great. All right, Robin. Yes, absolutely. All right, now Robin, you get who did I pull this card for? Wendy, I think, awareness. You get the awareness card too. Pay attention and, and look with new eyes. These are signs and omens, and signs and omens are everywhere. So it's also to the awareness is that what we were talking about earlier is that the little flashes of light and that um, the gifts and abilities that you have now are going to take it up a notch. And so... Um, we, and I find that when that eases into it, we have to, it, we're amazed all the time and not to go, what was that? <laughs> but just to allow it to, to continue to be aware and open to receive all these beautiful messages that are coming in louder and clearer. Okay. So it really, really is. 
And if you feel blocked that you're not getting the messages, stress-free is the very first thing. Get yourself into a calm environment so that you will be open to receive. All right, Julia. Yes, I'll pull a card for you, Julia. Manifestation is your card. Manifestation. It's a unicorn and a dragon. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. You need to believe in yourself more, Julia. You're more powerful than you realize. And it takes a little bit more action. You're really good at knowing what you want. It's let's take some action to propel you forward and make your intentions and your dreams and desires come true. <gasps> Unicorn and dragon. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you can see how beautiful these cards are. Manifestation. And it's in several areas of your life. It's covering work, relationship, um, healing, um, the, You've gotten really good with the blocks. The blocks have shrunk. Keep doing that, okay? Keep working on it. Um, Tammy, absolutely. Tammy, oh yeah, healing. You get the healing card. And it's bunch of unicorns around you and and are around you yeah. there's a woman with a healing blanket around her and bless all in need of healing hope and love spirit grant us strength and wisdom guide us to the path of wellness so you are healing yourself mind body and soul and i feel like you have this a favorite blanket that's your healing blanket. Now I want you to visualize, to call in the unicorns to help you with your healing. Just be open to receive. All right, some more. And each and every one of you, by the way, is, is um, on my healing list. Mm -hmm. And I send that out every morning and every night. Okay, so you can feel that little burst of love. <laughs> All right, Amy, absolutely, Amy. Action, and there's, it's a, a Pegasus, but I believe that the Pegasus and the unicorn are the same. It's just a unicorn, you know, but anyway, here's the Pegasus. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Stop hesitating. Okay. So it seems like not all the time, but just sometimes when we take a pause, which is fine to make sure that the area we're going to is the right for us. Make sure you're just not pausing too long. Make sure those hesitations aren't too long that you miss a window of opportunity. Um, and then you have to wait for another one to come back around or so just, just trust a little bit more. Okay. So, and, uh, yeah. okay. Chris. Oh, wow. Tornado warning here. Well, let's send love to the weather. Sending love and light to the weather. Sending love to the tornado. And then people are saying it sounds strange. You never ask for it to be diverted because it's going to go somewhere. And it's going to harm someone. The tornado has a mission too. Just know that. So love the tornado, the hurricane, the weather system. Just send that love out. Chris, you can see one like more power. Stepping more into your power. For you are very powerful. The four directions. And it's the equal cross, the four directions, call upon the elements, and um, oh, lots of dragons, a phoenix, 
Uh, the greatest dragon is within you. Absolutely. So there you go. Just to remember that. Um, as we step into our power, sometimes it, it we do this, this, when I say step into your power, your empowerment, um, and we're aware of us stepping into the power. And, but sometimes that can trigger, we're, we're doing it like this check of, is this ego or is this really my, my power? And don't talk yourself out of your power thinking that it's ego. Ego's not bad as long as ego works for you and not against you. I have to take crystal out and neutralize the energy. Absolutely, Chris. Yeah, for the for the weather. Yep. Yep. Just just love and light. And do this with the energy with the tornado. It's it's spiraling. All right. Spiral, 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 spiral. Um, you can use your wands, mimic the spiral, send love, love, love up and down, up the tornado, down the tornado. All right. I love fairies. Thank you. Oh, I know you love fairies. You talk to them every day. All right. Yeah, stay safe, safe Chris. Everyone's got absolutely. So that's funny. I love when these cards, I read them daily. So see, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you heard daily. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. They're for everyone, Wendy. And it's, it's, uh, you find that it's, you're part of the one, right? When you pull a card for everyone, you're included in that. So absolutely, we can relate to that. Uh, let me go back here. Oopsies. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Maureen. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I love your smile. Oh, I love yours too. And I miss seeing your cute, sweet, adorable, precious face and giving you hugs. So we'll all get together soon. Yeah, I know you've been, that's great. You have me getting the signs. Absolutely. Yes. But it's nice to have that validation though, isn't it, Robin? It's nice to, to know that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yay. <laughs> Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anthony. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I saw some Anthony. Here's my beginning with signs, Sarah. I'm glad. Thank you. Not sure what the brown bear means. Just sit with that. It will come to you. Um, it could be protection. It could be. But I find that the bear is protecting you. So um, the bear's not telling me what it means for you. You can actually just Google or do a search on um, animal totem brown bear and it's a brown bear and see what jumps out at you as to what that message is or just sit with it. Maybe Sarah can get that for you too, but I want you to do it. They want you, Anthony, because you are very powerful. They want you to, to understand the messages that come to you. You don't have to, and that's all of us. This is great to get validation, and that's all we're validating things that we already know, right? I know Julia, isn't that cool too? I don't, I don't think I've pulled that card. It was like oh, Christmas. It's a card I haven't seen before, or I forgot that I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Unicorn and a dragon. Wow! <gasps> Woo! <laughs> it was like ecstasy overload. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, Sarah, I've been seeing a lot of dragonflies lately. There you go. New beginnings. Beautiful confirmation. Absolutely. And watch how the wings glisten and flash. Isn't it beautiful? You maybe probably see their, their wings first. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, energy going through me. Woo! Ah, thank you for the healing. Oh. And thank you too, Laura, because we were all receiving and giving. So thank each and every one of you in Sacred Circle for the healing, for the sharing. Okay. Um, yes, please tell me that deck again. Yes, Laura. It's called Magical Times by Jody B E R G S M A Bergsma. Here it is. For those who want to 
magical times. If you want to take a screenshot, magical times empowerment cards. All right, by Jody Bergman. Take if you want to take a screenshot. I'm just sit here for a moment. There you go. Okay, and um, or if you message me, I could give you the. Uh, I think if you find if you just Google the name, it's by U.S. Game Systems. Um, I have the ISBN number two if you need that, if you need any more information on that deck. But it's one of my favorites. So, um, okay, Robin, I have a cuckoo clock that actually is off. But <laughs> I have a cuckoo clock downstairs that's slow. Cuckoo clock, I mean, a um, wind-up chime clock upstairs that's fast. So somewhere in between... That's yeah, whatever. I just like it because they're old and, and it's, you know, whatever. It's, it's cool. <laughs> All right. It's thundering. Chris, stay safe. Have a great week. Um, yes, everyone loves Wendy's cards. Um, talking to Magical Times, Jody. Oh, thank you so much for just typing it in. For those that maybe can't see the, you know, um, the picture of it. So thank you so much, Julia, for typing that in. I could have done that too. <laughs> but thank you, Julia. Sometimes when I'm in La La Land, it's like, la, 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 la. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't the clock music. Well, you know what, though, Robin, we have a lot of energy around us. And it's and it does, very, it's very musical. And, Robin, I'm sure you find yourself doing that. Those of us that hear the music, we just start humming. Hmm, what are you humming to? what you're he hearing, what you're, you know, what you're doing it so consciously, you're not even realizing until someone goes, what is that you're humming? And you go, huh? Oh, I don't know the name of it. I'm just humming. I don't know. <laughs> There's your sign. Okay. So, uh, oh, thank you. Love you. Love you all too. And thank you so much. I just would like to say though, there's not going to be a show next, next Sunday, because that is um, my husband and I's 29th wedding anniversary. 29th. So we're just going to take a day and just, well, it's a busy weekend for us anyway. So by Sunday, we're going to be like, just you and me. Let's have date night. Let's do something. Even if it's just, you know, 29 years sitting on the couch and, and just absolutely not doing anything, but just enjoying each other's company. So anyway, thank you <laughs> everyone. We will, I will return on the 21st, July 21st. And thank you so much. Everyone stay cool or, or you know, Hey, somebody might be cold, stay warm. Just um, thank you each and every one of you for contributing to this sacred circle for giving and receiving, sharing your energy. And I love you all so very much. And don't forget to keep shining your light, your love and light all, all over. And so, oh, thank you for all the anniversary wishes coming in. And yeah, 24, Wendy. Woo, happy anniversary to you too. Love that. Yay. Well, thank you all so much. Many blessings to each and every one of you. And uh, all right. Love you all. Good night. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. 